Hey everyone, I'm Zarya. Thank you for joining or clicking on this video. Make sure you go ahead and hit that share button and give this video a like or a love. And today I will be reading Birth Mother by Ellen Jackson. Earth Mother Earth Mother awoke with the dawn. She fanned sacred smoke in each of the four directions. Then she walked across the land singing a morning song. Earth Mother gave the beetles shiny jackets. She hung green acorns upon the oaks. Bending low, she placed a piece of summer in a flower seed. She turned her gaze to the sage-covered deserts and blew across the mesas. A hawk cooked the warm air with its wings. Man greeted Earth Mother as she walked beside the river. He held a net in his hands to catch frogs for his breakfast. You are kind to me, Earth Mother, said Man. You have sent frogs to fill my belly. I am grateful. Man slapped at his face. But why have you sent this wretched mosquito to torment me, to sting me at night and drive me from my bed, he asked. Mosquito is bad, bad, bad. Frog, on the other hand, is sweet, tasty, and oh, so wonderfully delicious. If there were more frogs and no mosquitoes, none at all this world would be perfect. Man went back to the business of hunting for frogs. Earth Mother walked on. Earth Mother walked across the African savanna wearing a robe fridged with falling rain. She filled the water holes and sharpened the thorn bushes. Her hand guided a sunbird to blossom sweet with ne nectar. She climbed the peak and flung a spear of lightning into the sky. In the late afternoon, Earth Mother heard the frog calling. Frog sat on a rock near a lake. With a flick of his tongue, he caught a small insect and swallowed it whole. Thank you, Earth Mother, said Frog. Mosquito and her sisters fill my belly and give me life. But why have you sent man to catch me and, to catch and eat me? Man is bad, bad, bad. Sweet, delicious mosquito, on the other hand, makes me happy. If there were more mosquitoes and no men in this world, it would be perfect. Earth Mother smiled and walked on. In the evening, Earth Mother dived with the whales into the depths of the ocean. Blue-green light trailed from her fingertips. A silver moon rose from the, on the horizon. Earth Mother cradled an otter into, in a triangle in a tangle of seaweed, rocking him on the waves. It was nighttime. As Earth Mother walked through a meadow, she heard a tiny voice. Earth Mother, it is I, Mosquito, said the owner of the next frog. Frog will surely feast on me tomorrow or the next day. He has already caught most of my sisters. But I am grateful for a man who lives by the river. He is tender and delicious. When I bite him in his bed, what's needed is more men and none of those useless frogs. Then this world would be perfect. Earth Mother sighed. Once more, she walked on. Earth Mother climbed the hill of her cloud teepee. She spangled a tree with fireflies. She spread spiderweb lace on the grass. Earth Mother said good night to the beetles, to the hawks, to the people, to the sunbirds, to the frog, to the whales, to the otters, to the mosquitoes, to the fireflies to her children everywhere. Then she went to sleep, and the world, in its own way, was perfect. The end. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. We appreciate all your support. Make sure you like us right here on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. And make sure you comment down below your favorite part of the book. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.